Okay guys, can anyone tell me what these are? As you can tell, I'm not at the cabin this morning. I figured it was going to get too warm out for uh, doing any fishing. I just boil my worms, so instead of working on the cabin this morning, I decided to get away from it and uh, go take a peek at some of the lakes nearby. Uh, this one here is Fish Lake. You can tell by the haze in the background, those are all uh, the smoke from the wildfires up in Ontario, Man Manitoba. And then of course we got one of the boundary waters going right now too. But uh, take a little look around here. So this is a swimming beach on one of the areas on Island Lake. A couple picnic tables in here, barbecue pit, fire pit. Kind of nice little place. Totally dead today. Of course it is warm. Almost no boats out on the water either. This one here is a pretty decent sized lake. This is a island lake. Of course the real reason to take the tour of the lakes was to try and get Carl from Carl's Off the Grid interested enough to come over and do some camping this fall. So if you see this Carl, I hope this gets your interest peaked. Okay, back to the cabin and more soffit. Yeah, my little critters are back looking for handouts. And apparently this one found a nice pile of it. They're still a bit shy of me, but they're allowing me to get within five feet now. So that's kind of cool. Of course, I'll probably have about a million of them here by the end of the season running around. I think they're just ground squirrels, but I'm not sure what they are. They'll sit up on their hindquarters like a groundhog, funnier than hell. Watch them. Thank <laughs> you. 
tried using a little ladder there. I'd have to extend it straight up to reach that upper one. Seeing I don't have my loft in as of yet. So I gotta bring the 24 foot fiberglass slider in here. But uh, I'm gonna go take a look and check on the uh, how the blueberries and raspberries are doing. So we take a peek at them. See if anything's ripening up yet. Well, this is another little patch that I haven't really noticed before. But a couple, couple of ripe. Mm. Dang, are them uh, delicious too. Wow, there goes my diet. A few more on this plant here. I think a lot of them are drying up though. We've had uh, a drought last year and we're in a moderate drought this year so far, which could turn severe sooner or later here. I think last year we were like 10 inches short on rainfall. And then uh, this year I think we're already like six or eight. So here's one of the little blueberry patches. They're scattered throughout the property here. I'm just going to see if there's any ready on these yet. No, they're all still pretty green. They don't usually get start getting ripe until August or mid-August. I'm kind of surprised that they're getting as many on them as they are with, like I said, with the lack of rain we've had. I'm going to go check another little strand of blueberries that I know is sitting out here. I'm down here in this other corner of the cabin. Where I'd like to put a head in through here somewhere is where I'd like to put a uh, root cellar. But I know nothing about it. So I'm going to have to do some investigating on how, what, where, and how, why. Right now, I'm just wanting to check on some of the blueberries. Another, ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see them there, but there's a few ready. There's a few that are ripe. Not enough to do much with. We'll check on another little pile that I got over here. Man, things are just so dry. I could really use a few days of rain this month. And I don't think it's happening. As you can see, as the further I go, the messier everything gets. Oh, look at this. Now well, we're going to have to see what these taste like. Man, are they flavorful. That's just amazing. And, you know, right off my deck. That's what's kind of cool about this property. Anyhow, a little excursion while I was procrastinating taking that fiberglass ladder in. But it is pretty cool to see the uh, berries growing around the cabin and stuff. You know, especially being that close, like I said. That one patch I had a bunch of ripe ones on right there. And the other patch is just over there in those popples. And that other patch was right off my front deck here, porch. You gotta love seeing that stuff. Let's go check out the uh, raspberry patch. Remember as kids picking these, we'd have them in cream off the farm. You'd pick a bunch of them and pour a little fresh dairy cream from our old milk farm. I should be picking these and try to make some jelly, but 
I don't really think there's enough of them to make it worthwhile. Yeah, anyhow, that's uh, probably it. I better not eat anymore. My keto diet might not last very long. Between blueberries and raspberries. Lots of sugars. <laughs> well, okay, maybe I do have to come in here for a few of these ones. Hmm. Just can't beat the flavor of a wild berry. Unfortunately, now with the heat that we've been getting again lately here, the uh, horse flies have come out along with those dang deer flies, and they're a little vicious. Mosquitoes still ain't here. All the uh, dragonflies pretty much took care of them, but now the dragonflies haven't been real thick out here lately again. Anyhow, I suppose I better get back to work or you guys will start leaving my channel. Anyhow, most of you are here for the uh, cabin build, not my berry patches. to go see if I can find one in the truck. Be right back. Okay guys, I think I'm going to brave the uh, biting flies, horse flies and sand flies out here today and I'm going to go through and pick a few of these berries that I see ripe. See if I can fill up a canister of them. So just different things I like to do on the old place. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Hopefully he's not hungry. I should have my pants on instead of my shorts on, but the humidity is a killer out here. As you can see, I'm getting a few. There's a lot of them out here. I tell you guys, I haven't done berry picking since I was a kid. Actually kind of fun. Unfortunately, I can't eat them right now, but, or many of them anyhow. But, if I get enough, maybe I'll try to make a little bit of jelly. Well, there's a nice sized deer trail running through the swamp area there. Kind of a pretty area in here anyhow. Bumblebees are all attacking the pollen. Which is good. I don't know what them 
yellow flowers are, but they sure are pretty. I don't know what that white fungus is on that tree either. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get closer. Something I haven't ever seen before. I gotta tell you, it's wood tick uh, haven out here. I've been picking them off just about as much as I've been picking uh, berries here. Well guys, I didn't get quite as many as I wanted to, but the flies finally drove me out of there. So now what I'll do is go soak these in some cold water, get rid of all the excess protein that's floating around in there or moving around in there and dry them off and then freeze them. And maybe a couple days from now I'll go back through and pick some of the ones that weren't ripe today, that'll be ripe in a couple days. But those flies just got too atrocious out there, so along with the wood ticks. But I did end up uh, in about half a pint or better. <laughs>